What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. So I had no idea, I mean, I knew a couple people mentioned that there was going to be a stream, but I didn't really pay attention to when it was going to be, so I was off playing a different game, and all of a sudden I get tagged in some stuff about uh, the next upcoming stuff finally for Rising Steel in terms of banner units. Um, because if you weren't aware, I, it was either the 18th or the 19th, when the last banner dropped. So it's been roughly eight or nine days since the banner. So that's actually pretty crazy for Rising Steel. But I'm guessing it's probably having to do with, you know, it being the holidays. So, you know, maybe the devs are, you know, slowing down a bit. And also we did just finish the anniversary. So maybe they wanted to give like a two week break essentially, because that's a, what we're going to end up having. So, um, Almost, all, we're going to have almost a two-week break before our next banner. Um, but let's talk about what's actually going to be happening here. So when, they, when the stream got to the uh, Rising Steel section, they started doing a drawing contest with the voice actors that were there. Um, it looks like uh, one of the winning drawings uh, will be implemented. Oh, okay, so we're getting this outfit for... Aedis at some point, probably a summonable unit or a free-to-play uh, event unit. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, they're doing another drawing contest. And then here's what was cool. While they were busy drawing, they revealed that Integrity Knight Kirito, uh, so right here, Integrity Knight Kirito, uh, this unit actually did come to Memory Defrag about, I don't think it's been a year yet, but it's pretty close. Um... So we are going to be getting this Kirito. It looks like this will be the artwork because it's going to be an Abex uh, drawing style. And it says, uh, Character Scout Sprint Towards the Future starts December 31st. So we still have another four days until uh, the next banner. So uh, this Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, will be our next banner. I guess you could say we have had a banner since then. We had that kind of double rates banner. Uh, for the uh, Kirito, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Aedis, and Alice units. But um, we haven't actually had a new character banner uh, for quite some time now, since the Sinon came out on the 19th. But also, Kirito is not going to be alone on this banner, it seems like. It, it, the way they're wording it, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the character scout, Roni, Integrity Knight Apprentice from Moon Cradle, will make her first appearance. So this is going to be... Moon Cradle Roni when she's training as uh, basically to become an Integrity Knight. So you already know, uh, we're not going to get a Kirito like this very often. Uh, honestly, this may be the only time we ever get an Integrity Knight Kirito. Plus, Roni being my, one of my favorite characters in the series. Um, and most likely, these characters being active link units with each other. So any this Kirito can, will be able to active link with any Roni. And, of course, any other, you know, characters that are linked up to this point. And this Roni will probably be able to link with any Kirito. Now, unfortunately, because we don't have a look at the banner, we can't even speculate as to what type they're going to be. But I I really hope they don't do Dark again. But, I mean, he's in Dark Armor. So, with the, I don't know what they're going to do. So, since Active Link has come out, we've gotten Active Link units for Light, Non-Elemental... Um, Earth and Dark. So presumably, unless they're going to do Dark again, this and if these two are going to be the same color, which they should be. I mean, especially if they're going to be if they're going to be active link units. I mean, there's nothing here that says that they won't be, but there's nothing here that says that there is. But let's just assume that they are active link units. Um, they should be either Fire, Water, or Wind. I don't picture either of these being Wind. I mean, she, uh, Roni could possibly be wind, but I don't think they're going to do different colors if they're coming together and you'd want to use them together. So I'm going to go, my gut wants to say fire. My gut wants to say fire. I don't think it's going to be wind. They could also do water, but my gut is going to say fire. But we'll have to wait and see what these units are. Regardless of what color they are, I'm pulling these units. Um, or I'm going to at least try to pull for them. Um, I'm going to at least go, if I go to step five and I've only gotten one of them, I will go to step seven because I do, these are very, 
it's not like, you know, a Solus Sin on a Stacia Asuna, which we're going to get a billion of before this game shuts down. An Integrity Knight Kirito, which is just, you know, a dream, um, is only going to come around maybe once every couple of years, if they ever decide to make it again. But yeah, so those are our units. Whenever the news drops in game, which I expect will be within the next day, um, we will obviously break down the units. And then on the 31st, when the banner goes live, I will obviously go ahead and do my summons. I think I'll probably grab enough, because right now I have like 1150 gems. So I'll probably grab the other 350 I need to uh, do all the way to step seven in case we do have to do that. Make sure I have that before the... Uh, the banner drops. Um, homepage characters, 5 million downloads, campaign. We got all kinds of stuff here. So item packs with characters. Okay, so I was wrong. I made this video about this Sinon before. Um, I was hoping that she wasn't going to be a home character. Because I really like this outfit. And it's regular. It, it's her real world self. It's not um, her in-game self. So I was hoping this would be a unit. But unfortunately not. So... Uh, maybe I'll just wait till the 31st and actually grab these packs right here, uh, depending on how good they are. Um, okay, so... Ooh, this is actually kind of good. I don't think I'll summon for this, but... Well, we'll, we'll see how we do with the... Um, we'll see how we do with the actual banner first, because if I can get both units by, like, step 5, then whatever I have left over... Maybe I'll throw towards these weapons, because I could definitely use some more weapons. Uh, celebrating 5 million downloads, two times only guaranteed 4-star scout. So it looks like there's one for characters, I assume. And it looks like there's one for this. So to celebrate hitting 5 million, starting December 28th, okay, so before the banner goes live, every player will get a two times only chance to pull... I assume we're going to have to put gems into it, though. It doesn't say free. Uh, which is unfortunate. This would be kind of cool if this was just a free thing. Uh, every player will get a two times only chance to pull a character. Scout that guarantees a four-star higher character and a weapon scout. Okay, so you pretty much get two four-star characters and two four-star weapons. I probably wouldn't even touch the character one. Even though this Sinon is on here, who I don't have. Um, most of the units you, you're probably going to be unlucky enough to pull, you're going to have. So you're just going to end up with a dupe anyway. But with weapons, I don't have a single weapon max duped out. So, that is dead because I almost never touch weapon banners. The only weapons I end up pulling are from tickets. Um, so, that could definitely be nice. Oh, okay. And then there's going to be a New Year's login bonus. Oh, we already knew that this was in the news. That there's going to be a New Year's login bonus that you can get these five days of rewards as long as you log in within that week. Um, you know, you got this Alice stamp here, some usual materials, and then ten more tickets. So, that's pretty cool there. Oh, and lastly, over here, the Cathedral is live. So it's, be, it's been released into three parts. So it looks like right now you can only go up to floor 50. So I assume it's going to be up to floor 50, then up to floor 95, and then up to floor 100. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be as they're all released, but, um, but yeah, three parts. So right now you can go up to floor 50, and I've heard that floor 50 is Fanatio, and I've heard she's a pain to deal with. Uh, I haven't yet done it myself. Uh, I've been too busy, <laughs> speaking of which, I've been too busy farming these things, um, you know, as they change every day. It's kind of annoying. I hate that. I wish you could use more than one ticket to, because I would like to kind of skip ticket more than five times in a row. Um, but you have to like skip your five times, then you have to refill the thing and then reset it to do it again. So that's kind of annoying, especially how little of the stuff actually drops. But, um... Getting these skills is definitely going to be something that's very important in the long run. So if you weren't aware, there is a new accessory creation thing where you farm these materials to make three-star accessories that can be awakened into four-star accessories. And these accessories have, you get skills from farming the stages that actually, uh, will actually give skills to these accessories. So definitely going to be something that's very important. Um... Adis and the Orphanage ranking event planned for upcoming release. January's reward character is Operator. Interesting. How is she even going to... What are her attacks going to be? Is she going to drop the elevator on your head? That's very interesting. I'll be curious to see what her... Uh, uh, 
what her actual like abilities are. That's kind of funny. But th I, I have no complaints. I mean, I like this artwork, and it's a new character. Um, between January first and January third, get up to one hundred and ten free scouts per day. Okay, so you have three days. If Sinon appears at the end of your eleven scout, that's your chance. So instead of Kirito this time, it's going to be Sinon. So that's cute. Um, they showed off the drawings, so it looks like one of these drawings are going to be implemented. It looks like they picked the Roni drawing. Uh, so that's cool there. Um, okay, so they announced the winners for the, uh, Shrine campaign, and that was pretty much it. And then they started to talk about the licorice stuff, so. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, it's kind of nice that they did give us some breathing room in terms of, you know, with, like, my other gotchas that I play, like Tales of the Rays, Tales of Crestoria, two mo two weeks of, you know, a break to actually work on the content that's in the game is pretty normal, but with a game like Rising Steel, it's usually a brand new banner with new characters every week, and it's usually a new event every week. So, it's been kind of weird that we've been in this slow period. Like, the ranking event is over, um... The current event that we have going up, I have nothing left to farm in the shop, so all I'm really doing is farming these uh, these new accessories uh, as much as possible while also juggling all my other gacha games. So uh, this is pretty exciting. Let me know what you guys think down below. Def I'm 100% pull. I'm even if I don't get them both, I'm still going to step seven. If I have to go to step seven to try and get them both, but hopefully I can get lucky and get them both by step five. But I will not complain if I have to go to step seven because these are. Very unique versions of Kirito and Roni, and we are not going to probably see these versions very frequently. And I'm actually very excited to see uh, what their incarnates are even going to look like, or what they even do. Um, I assume one is just going to be a charge, the other is going to be a break. Kirito will probably be a break. You know, if they do... Here's the thing. If they do fire... That's fine for Roni, because if you only pull the Kirito, you can use Valentine's Roni with this Kirito, assuming he's fire. But on the flip side, if you only pull this Roni, there's no fire Kirito for you to use besides this one. So you're kind of in that kind of limbo thing that we had with uh, Moon Cradle Kirito and Asuna. Um, so if, if they are both fire then your main goal is to, assuming you have the old uh, Fire Roni, uh, is to pull this Kirito. But uh, I guess uh, we'll just have to see how this uh, how this banner goes. Um, it would be cool if, and this is not going to happen, of course, because the anniversary is over. It would be cool if there was like increased rates like during the anniversary, since this is a very special Kirito, but I don't see them doing that. Um, if you want this carry toy, you're probably going to have to, uh, hope that you're lucky. But, uh, I guess we'll see, uh, how I do. Hopefully my luck, since I haven't summoned in a while on SAO, uh, hopefully my luck can, uh, kind of return here. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below about the new units. Let me know if you're going to be summoning. Let me know if you're going to be waiting to see what they do first. Um, I know there are some people who will summon immediately just because it's like, these are versions of characters we're really not going to see. But then there's also people who are going to be like, okay, is this going to help, you know, my account? Which I totally understand. Um, and then let me know what you guys think about all this New Year's celebration stuff. Uh, I like the Sinon's outfit. I just really wish that she was not a home screen unit. And I do think it's really cool that we're getting a free-to-play operator. I don't think we'll ever get a summonable operator, so this is this is pretty cool. I, I am a little salty, though, that we're getting, you know, free-to-play four-stars, like, operator, but we still don't have a summonable or free-to-play four-star Kleiner Aegil yet, but it'll happen eventually when they run out of females to uh, make characters of, I guess. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.